Well, hello everyone. This is Don, and today what I'm going to do is go over the 3D cockpit by Chmalio, put together on xplane.org. And I'm sitting here at the runway of uh, Portage, CYPG, runway 31 left, and here I am aiming down the runway. What I'm going to do is just bring up the map view and show you where we're going to go today. Basically, I'm sitting on the runway here at Portage CYPG. We're going to take off and use a climb out using the autopilot. I'm going to do a standard circuit, so I'll do a crosswind leg, come out here on a downwind leg using the autopilot again, following around using the heading connectors, and turning back here on base, and then finally final to intercept the ILS. If you click on the ILS, Basically, that lights up and you'll get the ILS frequency 109.7. And when you click Tune Nav 1, that'll not only tune the radio, but it'll turn your course heading to the direction that you're going to go. Let's go inside the cockpit and have a look around. So here we are in the cockpit sitting pretty far back, and it's kind of hard to see your way around there. So what I've done is I've made a number of key sets using the control number pad function. So here I've got my number 8 has a nice view out the front. Number five is more of a center view. Coming down to number two, I've got a closer view of the instruments and this will allow me to get a hold of the uh, map and autopilot features over here. Uh, number two takes me out again. Number three comes down to the radios. Number one is a real close up of the instruments and number zero, I'm way back here on the trim setting. So let's take it back out to number five so you can see a little bit about what we're doing. Actually, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer because this is where we're gonna set up the autopilot. So the autopilot features are showing up here on the uh, multifunction display. Uh, and um, actually it's the pilot primary flying display. Uh, here you've got your airspeed with a ribbon over on this side, your altitude with a ribbon on this side, and these numbers in red are your autopilot presets. So this 199 is where it's set here. That's your auto throttle. So I've got a button up here that says IAS and VS. So the IAS is your indicated airspeed and it's on the outer ring. If I just hold that steady for a little while, you can see that was vertical speed. And I come back in here, I've got a small knob and that's showing airspeed. So if I take that and I slide it up and down, you can see I've got that going down 197, 96, and actually I can go left and right here while I'm holding the mouse button. And I want to take that to my climb out, which is going to be around 150 knots. So I'll just set that at 150, 150, and let that go. So here we are set at 150, and that was using this. Now here I've got a vertical speed indicator. So here we've got the VS, so you hold it, and it's the large ring here. Hold it, and you'll see VV. I vertical velocity indicator. So I'm going to take that, slide that up and down. Oh, I slid off the button. Sliding up and down, you can see that's all the way up to 7,800. I'm just going to set it for a climb up of about 500 feet per minute. So sliding that back up, and there we are, 502. That's close enough for me. And over here, I've got the altitude preset. So when you set your vertical speed, it's going to climb by when you press the vertical speed to the preset altitude. Here it's set by 2000. So if I go over here to the altitude select, you can see as I click there's 3000, 4000. Come over to the other side, I click it 3000, 2000. And I'm going to leave it at 2000 for our circuit altitude. These buttons here is basically mock and not. So if I click that, you can see the speed over here turn to mock. Click that again. And this here is your barrel reset or your uh, barometric pressure, and you can even have that in inches of mercury or kilopascals. If you click here, that'll set it to standard, the 29.992. Other features we have on here are the flaps, and I've already set those to half flaps for takeoff, and I'm going to be doing a takeoff roll with a rotation at 110 knots. All right, let's, uh, I think we're all set here. The other thing I didn't point out is I've got 312 set here, and that is on course, uh, sorry, on uh, heading number one. If I click this heading button and hold it, you'll see that number changes, but the other thing you might see is this magenta line here as it's going around. That's going back and forth like that. I'm going to set that to the runway heading. So uh, another important thing here is we've got our flight director off, 
we've got a yellow to arm it and then we have to press it again to engage it. So I'm just going to leave it at that until we take off. So let's uh, get this thing ready to roll and uh, do a circuit. 